Leah Marie Johnson's producer, the same producer that fans believe was the much older man she was seen kissing in an Instagram live session, has completely erased his internet presence. So what exactly is Steven Weatherby trying to hide? Find out right now on IO. What is gravy potatoes? You're watching Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Del Rey. On this channel, we serve you the most interesting news updates we come across on the internet, so uh, you don't have to go looking for them yourself. You're welcome. Subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. Now let's get to this update. If you've been following this story, you know that Leah Marie Johnson went viral last week for a disturbing Instagram live session where she was seen kissing a much older man in a dark room, possibly a recording studio. She was also clearly under the influence of something. She asked for more wine at one point. The older man can be heard saying, are you on Instagram? No you're not, you can't be on Instagram. Are you really on Instagram? Because that would be bad. Does that, did anyone else get chills when they heard that? I am disturbed. That much older man then proceeded to hijack her phone and turn it off because he didn't want their hangout to go public. Leah went back on Instagram live later looking very upset and she told her fans not to call the police on her. In the background, Weatherby can be heard saying, Leah, I need this not to go out because it will affect my work. Please turn it off. <sighs> Some of you were saying in the comments of my last video that I shouldn't point fingers if I don't know that Steven Weatherby has done anything wrong. But if he hasn't done anything wrong, then why erase his internet presence? There have been people who have also analyzed both his voice seen in videos as well as the voice of the man in Leah's live stream. The voices are identical. So here's what we know about Steven Weatherby. He's a San Diego music producer who's been working with Leah Marie Johnson since 2012. She would have been a teenager at the time, probably about 16 years old. Also in 2012, she appeared in a music video for a song called Stars Will Shine, which was supposedly written by Weatherby, among others, and produced by Weatherby. Weatherby also founded and owns his own recording studio outside San Diego called Called Golden Track Studio. This is supposedly Leah Marie Johnson's studio. Before the website for Golden Track Studio was taken down, it stated that he worked with people like Santana, Kansas, Rush, REO, Speedwagon, Yes, and more. In addition to being a music producer, he's also a photographer. Back in 2012, he did an interview where he said that he began his photography career taking photos for album cover art. Then he started taking pictures of kids because a past girlfriend owned a company that gave out pony rides. He also has photographed Leah Marie Johnson. There was a photo of Leah Marie Johnson on his Instagram, but it's deleted now. It was taken in 2014 and appeared in Tiger Beat magazine. His Instagram account, Weatherby Photos, as well as his website, Models Choice Photography, have also been taken down. Guys, Leah's an adult, she's 23 years old, but she has known Weatherby since she was a teenager. Weatherby also has a history of working with much younger female clients. As of right now, he hasn't commented or said anything to the press. There's very little information about him on the internet other than the information uncovered by Worry fans. Leah Marie Johnson has been on Instagram since the incident. She said in her stories that she's not ready to talk about the situation yet and she also cancelled a upcoming performance that was supposed to be on January 11th. I really can't speak for Leah, I don't know her, but based on what her friends have said both on YouTube and what her fans have said, she could be a survivor of some sort of messed up stuff that happened in her childhood, which could explain her strange behavior in past live streams and also the recent one. Past music she's come out with tells a very sad story about her past, alluding to the idea that maybe she doesn't have the best relationship with her parents, which could be why she hasn't turned to them in her time of need. Whatever is going on with Leah, it's clear a lot of people are genuinely worried about her, including us. On behalf of IO, we hope that she's okay. Because of the nature of this video, we're not going to be responding to comments, but please share what you think about all of this down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more of our videos, and I will see you all next time.